on page 158, you will find a section entitled The Sense of Place, School Location, and then there will there'll be some communities listed underneath, three community types listed underneath. Um, so I wanted to talk about the rural communities, uh, give you a little bit of just factual information so you'll know kind of where your students are coming from. 19% of the population live in rural area or towns with fewer than 2,500 residents. In some school districts, teacher shortages may result in the staffing of schools by teachers with a limited academic background in the subjects they teach. Because there's not people who apply in that school, those schools, then some people have to teach outside of what they're qualified. Um, we talked about that already uh, earlier on in the chapters, a little bit about how No Child Left Behind kept that from happening, but if there's nobody to teach it, it's got to be offered. Um, so there'll have to be some kind of amendments made. Principals may be assigned to several schools and support services may be limited because of the lack of funds. So that in turn uh, causes maybe the principal not to be in the building all the time and his problems arise because they're having to, to go to several different schools due to the funding. Teachers in rural areas sometimes feel isolated, especially if they're not from the area. Um, when you're in a small area like that, everybody knows everybody and um, perhaps are not as welcoming to strangers, which you would be if you're coming in from another area. Rural communities cherish their small schools where students know each other, their teachers, and most community members. They take pride in that. Nothing wrong with that at all.